Hi, and welcome to this Corbin Maths video on adding decimals and subtracting decimals. So let's have a look at a few examples. Our first example is 5.6 plus 1.7. Now if I was working at 5.6 plus 1.7, the first thing I would do is I would lay it out very carefully. So I'd write 5.6 and 1.7. Lining up the digits in the units column and lining up the digits in the tenths column. And I've also lined up the decimal points. And then I would put the line beneath it like we would do in any addition, and I would put the plus sign. And also, because I've got the decimal points here, I'm going to put the decimal point there in the answer. So just lining up the decimal points like so. And now I'm just going to work out the addition. So 6 plus 7 is 13. So put the 3 down and carry the 1. Now in terms of the carrying, you might have a favorite place where you carry it to or where your teacher tells you to carry it to. I prefer carrying it here, the 1. Some people put it up here or down there. Just as long as you remember it, that's okay. So 5 plus 1 is 6 plus 1 is 7. So our answer is 7.3. So 5.6 plus 1.7 is 7.3. Okay, our next example. Okay, this time we've got a subtraction. We've got 4.4, .4, subtract 0 0.9. So again, be very careful laying it out. So 4.4, .4, subtract 0 0.9. Again, lining up the digits in the units column and in the tenths column. And again, put the line beneath it because we're doing a subtraction and line up the decimal point. So we're gonna put the decimal point there in the answer. And then we're gonna do our subtraction. Okay, four, take away nine, we can't do. So we're gonna borrow one from the units column. We're gonna call that three and we'll carry the one over there to make 14. Okay, 14 subtract nine is five. So put the five there. Three subtract zero is three. So our answer is 3.5. Okay, our next question. So our next question, we've now got 1.7 plus 1.4 plus 0.8. So this time we've got three numbers we're adding together. Um, it's just the same as before, but what we're gonna do is we're just gonna make sure we're lining them all up. So 1.7, 1 1.4, 1 0.8. Again, lining up the digits in the units column and the tenths column. We're lining up the decimal points and we're putting the line beneath it like so. And we put our plus sign. Again, because our decimal points are here, our decimal point's gonna be there in the answer. And then we just add. So seven plus four is 11 plus eight is 19. So put the nine down and carry the one. One plus one plus one is three. So our answer is 3.9. Okay, our next example. Now this one is a subtraction. Now you might notice that we've got 14 subtract so 6.7. So we're gonna be careful when we're lining these up, okay? So we're gonna write a 14 down. So we've got a one in the tens column and a four in the units column. Now our next number is 6.7. So the units is six, so we're gonna write 6.7, okay? So we've lined up the digits in the units column. The 14 has got a one in the tens column. Uh, we've got a decimal point here, and then we've got this number, the 6.7 has got a seven in the tenths column. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a decimal point here in the 14, and we're gonna put a zero. It's very important whenever you're adding, adding or subtracting decimals that they're the same length. In other words, if one of the numbers has got tenths that you put zeros in to make the other one have tenths as well. If one of the numbers had hundredths, you add zeros to make the other one have hundredths as well, okay? If they're the same length, it makes the question a lot easier, okay? So we're gonna put a line beneath it, and then we're gonna put our subtraction sign. And now we're just gonna subtract. So again, make sure we line up the decimal points. Okay, zero, take away seven, we can't do, so we're gonna to need to borrow. So that's gonna be a comma three, and we'll uh, borrow and put the one there. 10 take away seven is three. Again, six, uh, three take away six, we can't do, so we'll borrow, we'll call that a zero, and bring the one over there. 13, 13 take away six is seven. So our answer is 7.3. So whenever you've got numbers that you're subtracting or adding um, where one of them is, is slightly longer than the other, in other words, one might have tenths or hundredths or thousandths, you just add zeros to make sure that the other one's the same length. Um, and also be careful whenever you're lining them up here. I was very careful to make sure that I put the units in sort of one column, the tenths, uh, tens in another column, tenths in a, another one, and so on. Okay, our next example. Okay, next example is 0.78 plus 0.15. So again, 0.78 and 0.15. Again, I've been very careful lining them up and I'll put the line underneath it and put the plus sign. So again, we've got a hundredths column, tenths column, units column, and we've got our decimal points. So we'll put our decimal point here, so it's beneath the other ones, and we're gonna add, so remember starting from the right hand side. So eight plus five is 13, put the three down, carry the one, 7 plus 1 is 8, plus another 1 is 9, so our answer is 0 0.93.
Okay, our next example. Our next example is 8.25 plus 3.9. So again, be very careful when lining these up. So 8.25 and 3.9. As you can see, one of the numbers is a bit shorter than the other one. It hasn't got any numbers in the hundredths column, so we'll put a zero there so that the numbers are of the same length. Okay, let's add them together. Five plus zero is five. Two, oh, we should the decimal point. Two plus nine is 11, so put the one down and carry the one. And eight plus three is 11, plus one is 12. So we'll put our 12 down. So our answer is 12.15. So let's have a look at our second last example. So our second last example is 7.1 subtract 2.34. So again, let's be careful when lining it up. So 7.1 subtract 2.34. And we'll put the line underneath it and then put the zero there just to make sure they've got the same uh, number of uh, digits after the decimal point. So zero take away four, we can't do. So we're going to borrow one. So we'll call that zero, bring it over. 10 subtracts uh, four is six. Again, zero subtract three, we can't do, so we're gonna borrow one, so we'll call that a six, and that'll become 10. 10 subtract three is seven, and six subtract uh, two is four. So 7.1 subtract 2.34 is equal to 4.76. And our last example, so our last example is 1.74 plus 2.183. So again, let's line them up, so 1.74 and 2.183. Three. And the 2.183 has got a digit in the thousandths column. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a zero in the thousandths column of 1.74. Okay. And again, put the line beneath it, put our plus sign, and we'll line up the decimal points. And again, let's just add from right to left. So zero plus three is three. Four plus eight is 12. So put the two down, carry the one. Seven plus one plus one is nine and one plus two is three. So our answer would be 3.923, and that's it.